Hello, and welcome to the Board Game Society. You will recognize the game configuration as the classical solitaire game, a fairly standard game but also very efficient when the time comes to start over and over again in order to complete the challenge. We will be showing you a similar game in terms of dynamics and configuration, Seven Wonders Duel. So without further ado, let's get started with the game setup. Seven Wonders Duel is a game designed by Antoine Boza, original designer of Seven Wonders, who teamed up with Bruno Cathala for a two-player variant for 10 years of age and older and a runtime of 30 minutes. An excellent strategy game adapted for two players to which we will adapt for a solo challenge. Initial game setup is exactly the same as a regular game. Age decks are separated by ages 1, 2, and 3. Card placement remains the same as depicted in the rules. Conflict Pawn is set in the middle. Military tokens are also placed on the corresponding spaces. Three cards are removed from the age 1 deck before placing them. We do the same for the age 2 deck. Also remove three cards from the age 3 deck but replace them with three randomly drawn guild cards. As for the progress tokens, remove the strategy and economy tokens and give them to your opponent. They will be his starting tokens. Distribute 7 coins to your opponent and yourself. Distribute 5 progress tokens down on the appropriate track while putting the rest of the available tokens near the game. Shuffle all of the wonder cards and randomly draw 7 cards and put them face down. They will be the game objective. You must build all of the 7 wonders in order to win this challenge. There are two conditions that must be met in order to win the challenge. You must have built all of the 7 wonders and obtain a military supremacy or a scientific supremacy. You must also have a total score higher than your opponent. Remember that if you go towards a scientific supremacy, you must gather six different scientific symbols. On the other hand, if the opponent is able to gather his six different scientific tokens or achieves a military supremacy, you immediately lose the game. Game dynamics is the same. The only difference is the opponent will always gain one card every turn without prerequisites. We simply discard one card on his side. In the event that these cards include resources, they will increase our buying value when doing trading transactions. Military cards discarded on his side will make the conflict token advance by 2 on the track because he possesses the strategy progress token. At the end of the game, if the two winning conditions are met, we compare scores. In the event that your opponent gathers a pair of progress tokens, you must give him the best available progress token. Let's demonstrate the first age for you guys. The starting player, you, reveals the first wonder to build. You only revealed one at a time. When the current wonder will be built, then you can reveal the second one and so on and so forth. You start by giving the opponent a resource of your choice. We can see two stones, so we'll give him one. Then you can choose your card. We'll do the same thing and take the other stone. For his next turn, we'll give him one victory point, which will allow us to reveal the bottom card. For the current wonder, we need two glass, two clay, and one papyrus, and there's nothing yet on the board. We'll construct our first guard tower, letting us move forward the conflict token by one, and finishing by revealing the next card below, a papyrus, which is good for us. We don't really have a lot of options, so we'll give him yet again victory points. We are going to pay one gold to get the papyrus. We don't have much choice but to give him a science card in order to reveal the two cards below. We'll take the wood resource available to lower our potential cost of wood trading. With this in mind, we will again give him victory points. Already, we're behind on points. Since we have the Papyrus card, we can take for free the scientific card to the right. We'll give him a commercial building card, allowing him to trade clay for only one gold. 
Turn goes back to us. The remaining science card costs two gold coins. We don't really need wood as of now, the yellow commercial building card, so we're going to buy the science card. We'll give the opponent the other commercial building, which allows him to trade wood for only one gold coin. The next card to be revealed proves to be very good for us as we need clay for our current wonder, so we'll take it. Now, do we give him wood? We don't have any wood cards on our side, so we'll give him the military token, advancing his token by 2, because he possesses the strategy progress token. This leaves the wood resource card for us, which we'll take for 1 gold coin. Then, we'll find out what's hiding under the two cards. Alright, if we give him another military card, it'll cost us money. So that leaves us the science card to give him. And then, the military card goes to us, which we pay with the wood in our possession, advancing the conflict token by one. It's not his turn yet, and since I need the last gray card, we'll give him the clay resource card. And take the last card for one gold coin. This completes age one of three. As you can see, the conflict token came back to the starting position. I only took two science cards, and we have yet to complete the first wonder. So we're off to a bad start.
After completing the two required objectives mentioned earlier, we finish up the game with a point comparison. In order to simplify the score count, the cards were placed in the same order as the provided score pad. Starting with blue cards, we count the sum of all cards. He has for a total of 28. As for us, we only have 9 points. Now for green cards. He has 3, 3, 2, 1, and 1 for a total of 10 points. We have 2, 2, 2, and 1 for a total of 7 points. Yellow cards provided no points for us, but gave him 9 points. We got the upper hand on the guild cards. We got the card giving us additional points for military cards, giving us a total of 8 points. As for our opponent, his card allows him to score points for all green cards collected, for a total of 6 points. As for the wonders, he doesn't have any left. In our case, they were all built for a good 21 points. Progress tokens give me 4 points, and no points were given to the opponent. Money provides 1 point per 3 coins. We have 12 coins, which gives us 4 points. He has 8 coins, for an additional 3 points. The remaining money does not provide points. Military supremacy was achieved by us, giving us an extra 10 points. Grand total of 63 to 55 in our favor giving us the win for this solo challenge. Differential of plus 8 shows that we had a good game overall. This ends the solo challenge presentation for 7 Wonders Duel. Give it a try and share your thoughts and or comments as well as your final point differential. If you have potential modifications you would like to bring, let us know and please subscribe for more. It's your turn to play.